There are very important things in the human colony happening. Oh, thank you. What's all that? I cannot say, but they are important. Were you positive? Must... Yes. Uh -huh. And so you must always be attached to it in some way. Oh, you mean human colony community or human colonies in space, or both? Both. Things are fed into my life in a certain pace which is just a little bit overwhelming, but not too overwhelming. You are learning how to control time and not let it control you. This is being taught to you. You are not aware that you are actually controlling your time line activities more than it is controlling you. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, perfect sense. That's what I was asking, yes. I got my answer a little bit. So which part of me is doing that? Is it my higher self or some other part? Some other part. Subconscious? Yes, which is connected to higher self. But you're being trained in subconscious to be a controller of your space. Are the my guides also doing part of that work? They help in whatever ways they can through your dense thought patterns. Is there anything I should do about my thought patterns? I don't Will you know. just speak things more out loud sometimes if you need their assistance? Uh -huh. oh. Many times you are feeling that you can do things on your own. You're quite confident that you are capable of much organization and control. But if you talk to your spirit guides, they can make this easier for you. Ah, thank you. Because sometimes you push yourself a little too hard on some areas and not ask for help and feel that you are perfectly, perfectly capable, which you are, but you need some help. What in my thought patterns can I improve? When you think of one thing, stay on it for a while, not just a few moments. There are things in your mind that go quickly. Your synapses snap from one side of the brain to the other. You go from nature to complex molecule thoughts within yourself. You're not even aware, I don't think. But if you were to stay on one thought, they would be eager to listen to it. Are they meaning guides? Yes. Mm -hmm. You happen to. There is really no such thing as multitasking for humans. Mm -hmm. You have your thought patterns either one place or another. I, on the other hand, can divide my thought patterns and actually multitask. But once you take your attention off one thing, it is on the other. This makes sense to you. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, yes. Ah, here is another interesting thing. Uh, people who speak Arcturian are... are I immediately get gain respect to them thinking that they might have higher knowledge. Is it a mistake? Like Sephira seems like a contradiction. She is so confused that she speaks Arcturia. When she speaks it well, she will be less confused. Arcturian is not her first language, but yes, she pushes toward it. She should speak the alien first. So, is the sign of speaking languages a sign of people being whiter, or is it my conclusion? Maybe it has nothing to do with it. Being one. whiter? Wiser. Wise. No, wisdom has nothing to do with it. Ah. 
Can you reveal why I'm not picking up languages? Is there... A it would be a distraction for you. Ah. So who is deciding that? Is it obvious for... You language? must remain without language and without psychic and without channeling for at least a time. We see that you are the organizer and this would throw off all the organization that you have done. Oh. And so be not concerned. Oh, excellent. We need you in the full capacity that you are in. And therefore, these things will not come to you now. Excellent. Thank you for revealing that because it's... Uh... It is not that you are less wise. In fact, perhaps because you are more wise that it is not happening to you. Yeah, I spent some more energy inviting those, and uh, I should, I wouldn't. They will come in their time, but there needs to be more construct before they will come. I understand. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Thank you for revealing finally, because I was asking this question for a while, and uh, finally... We are not wanting to disappoint you. But yet, to let you know that it is by intent, perhaps, will make you feel better. Oh, it solves a lot of problems, yes. Makes me feel much more in control. You are much more in control. You are well respected for that. People have no doubt that you are in control. Oh, no, no, for me, I was kind of thinking that spiritually I'm so confused, and now it's kind of... You have actually known the truth all along, but are still see we're still seeking <coughs> confirmation. which you have been given. Thank you. Thank you indeed. That is really helpful. Yeah, Jim uh, and Jay. Jim's program was crashing. Jim's uh, YouTube transmission was blocked a few minutes before Jay's video came to the end several times. So was it something, a sign that Jim should proceed with Jay, or else? There was a negative blockage. Oh, negative. Yes, the connection between the two of them is very strong. Ah. So... In fact, they are... They lived together in the spirit world. Oh, I see. As powerful people. Oh, I see. My question is, did my, do my spirit guides approve my movement in the direction of the two songs which I played on Beatles uh, because and uh, I want you. If they were part of that block of your... Your spirit guides were not. Oh, okay. The song Because is a key to opening channeling areas in your mind. Oh. Okay. Because of the chord structure and the motivation of the words. Yes. John Lennon was a channeler. Oh yeah, that's an interesting question. Uh, he was a channeler. And that is how his music came to him in some way. Channel music from the future and from the past okay. and from the ET population at that time. Huh. Therefore, the song Because, the very nature of it, is spiritual and alien, but yet very powerful for humanity. It contains a fourth dimensional section.
Huh. I will tell you more about that later. It's very helpful to check it. dimension of the brain has changed for the better. This will help you with your thought process. Oh, here. Oh, thank you. Let me know what I can continue. Switch to the topic. There is a division in the brain, right in the center, between the left side and the right side. Mother Gaia Earth, and the other side. This will help you to clarify your thoughts. I was not permitted to do this before. But right now, you need clarity of thought more than ever. There's many great decisions to come. You must know the answers with clarity and give your wife just thoughts that will help clarify her thought patterns. You will know what they are. They will be questions. Ask her questions about her decisions and why she wants to do it this way and find out where her thought patterns are leading. This way, if you know that they are not leading in the correct direction, you can manipulate them slightly. Ah, thank you. You answered my question. Thanks. However, You may not be able to change your mind, but find the thought pattern in you that is correct for you. There may be some time of separation. What do you mean? You will know when it comes. Period of separation? Small period of separation. Oh, thank you. Very bad. Ikashawa 
and toward and toward I must not go. Thank you much. It was uh, very helpful. I am not sure that the attunement that I gave you will be appropriate for where you part. If it is uncomfortable, I have a way of changing it. Okay. Uka, Rishi. You know what I mean. Pentium here. Hey, Pentium, how are you? Mm. Quite well. Nice to have you. I didn't speak to you for a while. I mean, you visited once briefly, but we didn't speak to that. And that is why I'm here. I just don't want to remain too far aloof. Mm -hmm. oh, how is your life? Interesting. Not always casual. A <laughs> good answer. I read between the lines. I see that you've gotten a good treatment already. As much as you should have for now. So I won't do that. What's my biggest ignorance in the moment? And what have I missed? <laughs> Your biggest ignorance. I love the way you speak. Your biggest in ignorance. You have no biggest ignorance, I don't think. Um, you take care of a full-bodied life, so... You are not ignoring anything. You are aware of many, many things, and more things than you should be aware of <laughs> sometimes. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, what else is... Um, yeah. How is your dimension happening? Uh, is it? Fourth dimension? Oh, there are so many things on your world about all the different dimensions. Some of them are popular. Um, our dimension is not that much greater than yours. It's, I mean, to go from a third dimension to a fourth dimension is a step, yes. But it's not like a giant leap like some people would have you believe. It's not like, whoa, not like that, no. It is like, oh, special realizations, special thought patterns, perhaps, and realizations of how to do things better, and how to um, move through situations and collect your thoughts better, uh -huh. and uh, you be aware of your chakras more. But it is not like stepping into sci-fi world, no. Not like no, that. Okay. No. No. Not really. You will see what I mean when you get there. It will be like um, a natural continuation with some extra benefits. That's right, that's right. Oh. Uh, but then fifth dimension, you don't go from... I see some people, people saying you're going from third dimension to fifth dimension. Yes, there's some fifth dimensional energy coming, but you're not going to jump from third dimension to fifth dimension. It's, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. You cannot, it's like saying, I'm jumping from three to five. You know, the number three to the number five. You can't have three to five if you don't get four. <laughs> no, no, it's just a numbering system. Some people number your dimension as fifth. Yes, I know, but you know what? It is confusing. Too um, many, because they should just make it as simple as possible. It's raw material. Yes. This is third density dimension. That's simple. You are in third density. When you go to fourth density dimension, that is fourth. Why make it more complicated by saying, oh, we're in the five, now we're in three. How do you understand that? They just want to be confusing. 
They want to sound more intellectual. They want to sound like they know more. But it is not that. They, how are they going to help the world ascend if they confuse them? <laughs> I understand. So make it as easy as possible to ascend. Don't make it as hard to ascend. It is, that just uh, sullies it up. Do you understand? So the veil, yes, the veil, uh, there is a veil between three and four when you look up, but when you look from four to three, is there a veil? Of course. So how do you look down then? You go down. You look through. You look through the veil. We know how to do that. You don't know how to do it. We, we know how to look through the veils and you do not know how to look through the veils. So. I heard that it is always that higher dimension can see through the veil down, but yes. can see through the veil up. Correct. That's right. So how does it look when you look down through the veil? Not as different as you think. You see, it does look different. There are things that are different. Yes, 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 yes. But it's like going back to an, an old memory. It's like when you were young. There wasn't computers or things of that nature, right? Right. So it's when you look back to your past and your your third <coughs> dimensional past, you see things differently. It was a different time. You were closer to nature. You did more things without the things that you have now. Yes. So when you go to the next dimension, it's like that. There's more things to help you there. There's more things that will make your life easier, but in the same sense, complicate your life. But when you look back to the third dimension, it's like, oh, it's like looking back to the wild west. The things are still the same, houses, plants, trees, but things are done way differently. But how do you see that? How can you look at down to us? What's the way? Do you come to the window and look down? or There is a way. I cannot explain it to you, because um, it is a division. It's like a two-way mirror, in some senses. Yes, you should be able to, because different species look different than down to some dimension. Yes. Give me some example. Of what? Of looking down to some dimension. How do you see us? What's, you know, is What's it mental, different? technological? How do you do that? It's, it's yeah. pretty much mental and technological, yes, because your way of thinking changes, but not in such a great deal that I can't communicate with you. Say, if I went to fourth dimension and I wanted to look down at my friends in third dimension, mm -hmm. how would I do that? I would I come to the see. device, press a button and say, look at third dimension. Yes, it, it is technologically possible, yes. But you see, we're so far advanced and in other ways uh -huh. as well. We've been in the fourth dimension a long time. So we've, we've way far advanced. And that's why we lost track of the third dimension, how to see it. The communication is the biggest difference. Give me a logistic example. Say, if I do that, I come to the four-dimensional ship. So I'm in the fourth dimension, right? Right. And I say, can I look down in the third dimension I need for my work, for my job, to see that, that, and that? What, ask, say, Takur, what she would do? To help me, or whoever can help. Me. I'm not sure I understand the question, but I'll try to Give answer. me some logistics, some like tangible, something tangible. When I am in the ship, four dimensional ship, how do I access some dimension to see it, to glimpse in it? Well, we have different things. There's a dimensional shift, and then there is a dimensional spray, sort of see, like where there are many, many different dimensions. Yes. And the one that we are working with, that one is rate available. Uh -huh. Okay. That is where it's set to right now. Yes. And so we can walk into that and observe, or we can actually walk into that and come here. Yes. But there are different different things we can do with that. We don't have to come here. We can observe. Yes. yes. Or we can just come here. Or we can just target a certain area, yes, yes. or target the whole world. Yes. And so, but there are certain 
when we target the whole world, it's usually for weather. Yes, yes. But um, when we target certain areas or certain people or certain subjects, yes. it can be done through technology, yes. So I'm on the fourth dimensional ship and I ask you, you know, for my job, please, you know, for my galactic job, I need to look at Rochester, fourth dimensional Rochester. Yes. So you give me a device? I will walk into the dimensional device. Yes. And I will speak to it. Yes. And it will coordinate for me. Then I will acknowledge that this is what I want to do. Yes. And I only want to look. And I only want to have a sp certain specific area. Uh -huh. And then it will... Uh, perceive that and give me that information. And it goes right into your mind without uh, visual? It can if that's the way it's set. If it's not set for that, then I will just be observing. But if I need that information to come into my mind, I can have it do that. So yes. it can be telepathic or visual? Because or what the thing is, if you set it to, to go absorb into your mind and then you go there, then you absorb everything. But if you, there's just something particular, you go there uh -huh. and find it first, uh -huh. you absorb it and then shut it off. Yes. Instead of just having it absorb everything, yes, which yes. is um, too much. Yes. So you go to that particular thing, you say, I need, I need to uh -huh. collect yes, yes. it. Yes, can you, can you continue? Yes. I need to collect that. Uh -huh. Yes. I need to collect that particular information. Uh -huh. You collect it and then you say that is enough and it will stop. Uh, that makes perfect sense. Now, there are possibly some species like your species who can do it without technology, right? Deal what? Like Yael possibly can look at Rochester, short dimensional Rochester without any technological help. There is a way it is more difficult. Uh -huh. Because you can be absorbed into the third dimension if you're not careful if you do it that way. Uh huh. You understand? Because that, in the natural sense, just looking through the veil, as you call it the veil, can actually absorb you into the other dimension. And therefore they would have to find a different way to get you back out. So, which would be the same means they take you out. Yes. So... Yes. And for us, that would not be as comfortable. Mm -hmm. Well, it, because now it's set for humans. Mm -hmm. So but so they would have to reset it to be more comfortable for Yeo. So, um, what other question? What is the so, how often do you use natural, non-technological ways to look down to some dimension? That is for the scientists, many times. Because they are, they still do not completely understand the veil. They are able to manipulate it, uh -huh. but they don't. There are some parts of it that are still unknown, because there are so many dimensions and so many veils, and each are slightly different. So that makes it very difficult to learn. It, there's no one set of physics. For each veil. I mean, for the veils, your veil compared to another. Of course. So, the physics of each veil are different. So, and to learn that, and what makes them universal, because there has to be an element that is the same in all. Uh-huh. That has not been found. Oh. Is, it, is the veil conscious? That is another thing that they are looking at as well. It, it, it does seem to be, yes. Uh-huh. So suppose a child wishes to access third dimension. A four-dimensional child wishes to look at third dimension to learn, for example. Yes. What are procedures for that? They would have to be taught how to do it. Uh -huh. And if they're not ta taught how to do it, they would not be able to do it. They would not know where to start. There is a starting point and an ending point. Do you understand? Yes, yes. So if they do not know the starting point, they could not even access the veil. If they were, they had to be taught. Now, what's the difference between a human, Earth human, which happened to be in four, on the four-dimensional ship, and, say, Yael? 
Yes. How would they dif what would be their difference in accessing third dimensional viewing capacity? If they were both in fourth dimension? Yeah. Once again, the human would have to be taught how to, to see through it, how to get through it. Uh -huh. And if, without being taught, they would not have a, the slightest idea where to begin. It took many hundreds of years to learn where the starting point was. Uh -huh. So, in order to access that, they would have to know the starting point, and then there are a few steps. How difficult is to learn? It's really not that hard to learn, uh -huh. because the, the simplicity of it was the most complex part. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yeah. It was so simple, no one could possibly understand how simple that it was. Mm -hmm. So, to access it is just a set of thought patterns uh -huh. in sequence. So, so um, but you must have them in the right sequence or else you can't get through. But it, it is so simply understandable. If I were to tell you, you'd go, oh, that makes perfect sense. Uh -huh. But hundreds of years before they could access it. Because you know why? They couldn't put themselves in that simple sequence. Uh -huh. So... Does the human have to be telepathic to... No. To do that? Okay. No. Now, uh, Douglas mentioned that it looks like the colonies are higher dimensional than our Earth's dimension. Yes. Are they in between third and fourth? When you go to the colonies, you have to be, you have to move to fourth if you go physically. Uh -huh. If you go in spirit, you do not have to move from uh -huh. spirit to, to fourth, no, no. third dimensional spirit to fourth dimensional. That, there's no such thing. Because the spirit is the spirit. So, uh, the holograph is the holograph. You don't have to change. Uh -huh. So, that is how they bring them on, is subconscious and spiritual. So, the colonies are four dimensional now. They, the ones from Grukfiknir always were. Well, no, that's not true. They weren't. They were on Earth. Some of them were third dimensional. But they've moved them all into the fourth dimensional at this time. <coughs> ah, so the visitors who visit physically, they just become four dimensional. They may, yes, they become fourth dimensional. There are only a few that they bring in like that, perhaps James and Randolph and Douglas and a few others. So what percent of the colonists are four-dimensional physically? Um, maybe 20 percent. Wow. That's the highest percent it could be. Wow. And how about me? What about you? Same you came thing. in spiritually. Only spiritually. Mm -hmm. Non-physically? You came in non-physically, yes. Ah. Well, I have to go now. Thank you for explaining so many important things. These oh, were burning and uh, we weren't answered for a long time. Finally, I got some. Oh, places. yes, I know. So many secrets. With, right now, I think the problem is there's too much information and some of it's too confusing. And it's too messed up. There are those, the darker entities are throwing out information mixed with truth and causing everything to be very confusing. It cannot be that way much longer. And in fact, it will not stay that way if certain things are going to happen. So, um, but right now there's so much information that just, if you, if you bring it all together, it doesn't make sense. And it to, if you want your, to rise in your ascension, it has to be universal. It has to come in a form that everyone can understand and everyone be on the same thought pattern. So it is not that way right now. There are those that have jumped from third to fifth and they're in the fifth now. How can they be? How can they be? You can, I mean, think people, think. I mean, just make yourself aware of, of logic. It's only logical to move up one step at a time, lest you trip and fall back down to the bottom. <laughs> so... It's just numbering. That doesn't matter. But it does matter. It will matter. It will matter. And the reason why it will matter is because you have to all come to a universal understanding, and there has to be one, one set of numbers.
so that everybody can be on the same understanding. So they say, oh yes, the fifth is actually the third. Well, how is every human going to understand that? I don't think they're going to. So they just need to simplify. They need to bring things back to the, a simpler form. Changing the topic, how is my hybridization going? Infusions. I don't know. I'd have to ask to occur. That's okay. Don't, you know, don't bother. Which ones did you have? Uh, I started, I said, uh, Yael, Liren, Nina, and Arcturian. Nina is complete. Oh! Arcturian is next. And it already started. It's only at 0.2%. Uh-huh. But Nina is complete at 5%. 5% in um, uh, which part of the body? Whole body? The whole the DNA part, yes. The whole, put, whole body received Nina? Oh, it's in the DNA. Whole, I was thinking that it's not uniformly distributed in the body. I do not know. I'd have to ask. That's okay. That's but it is in the DNA, 5%. All right. All right. And I said I had to go, and I am having to go. Okay. Our blessings and much appreciation. It was a fun visit. Nice to be connected with you. And you're in wonderful uh, mood today. Yes. Nice.